this little segment of the trail goes through a bit of street and rejoins the river here. Although it doesn't appear to be marked and there's a propane facility nearby. Nonetheless, there is a clear trail, as we see. And this goes for about uh, a little more than a half a mile following the river. Then there's another little disruption, and then there's another longer section further to the west. fishing spot there. Things are mostly high and dry. Save a bit of mud at times. Let's see, a bit of mud skirting, not too muddy. It's a seep of some kind. in the water. That's the way we came. Interesting bird noises. And there are frequent binocular turnouts go contemplate the flow. Happenstance Traverse and the sort of turbidity one only finds from bleak water systems. Yeah, made it across that thing. And we have a distant parking pooch doing his poochly duties. pleasing little promontory for a rest. There's the trail we approached on, stretching back south towards Fisher Street. And that's the direction we'll be going, at least for this little leg.
pronounced. This is a fairly outstanding property. snag in the river that's putting forth bud. Somehow it's going to make it through the submersion. That looks to have been its original spot. Forward motion resumes here in this little side skirting trail. Chicho itself doesn't appear to be as turbid as that little inlet creek. And there's a trail going off to some ghastly condo complex. Picnic tables and whatnot. Could be in a worse place. I'm sure. Appears to be designed to coexist reasonably well. <laughs> Interesting outcropping. It's a tar. That's yeah, basalt, I would bet. Perhaps. No. No idea what that is. Looks like tires that melted long ago or some such ghastly thing. Who knows? That oh, looks like old culvert remnant, so this must have been a continuation of that trolley line on up to the early leisure entertainment location of Willet Pond. Cutting. The maples are at it. By a bend in the river. Family announces itself. <laughs> 